I'm about to show you one of the greatest ways to have a burger ever, and I'm not exaggerating. It may or may not be obvious. I don't always make what we have here on YouTube in advance, meaning I don't always test it. No, why is that? Well, it's not that I'm cocky. It's because I, I, when I think of something or Max thinks of something or Chance, I think we can pull it off. The point is, we want these things to be simple and fine and whatever. So I decided I would try this in advance. And I took one bite. I didn't even make the whole thing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't told you what we're doing. We're making a chicken fried steak burger. Here's what you need to know. Chicken fried steak is, is not chicken. It's steak. It's usually something called cube steak. It's been pounded. It's an inexpensive cut that you deep fry, little coating on the outside. It's great. You serve it with country gravy. We're doing essentially that, but I'm going to use a patty. A patty, not steak. Because we're making a burger. So I tried it, just this. I floured it. I egged it. I floured it. Then I shallow fried it. It came out. I let it rest for a second. Cut a little piece and I had a bite. Cut another little piece, had another bite. Kept going. It was gone. Already had breakfast that day. I couldn't stop. It was so effing good. I said to Max, we're making this for sure. Now. It's a tiny bit more work, but it's so worth it. I didn't even have it with like the white classic country style gravy we're gonna have it with. This is gonna be a fucking dream. It's gonna be a dream. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this kid all dredged up, set it off to the side in the fridge. Just give it 15 minutes to pull everything together. In that time, we'll make the gravy. Then off we go. Off we go to the races and Bob's your uncle. Basic everyday all purpose flour. And we add kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper, garlic powder, and for kick, a little cayenne. And this we will mix with our fork. This will be the flour dredge part. That should be obvious. I was trying to be so careful so that didn't happen. Flour dredge, done. Dry dredge, wet part now is gonna be an egg, a little milk or buttermilk if you have it, little tang. We'll mix this. Oh, ready, Max? Chancy, let's go. Landing spot. We come along with our patty. We go first into the seasoned flour. We're making a chicken fried burger. Chicken fried burger. Didn't we say that? No. I think I did. You did not. I did. You absolutely did not. Yeah. Roll the tape back. Now, see, you guys control it. You, there's no way I would ever know what is on there or not. You want to get the edges, flip them over. And if you see a dry spot, make sure it's not dry. Carefully take them out, back into the flour again. Push them down so it gets all nice and even. And then with a dry hand, back down to the other side. Out we come, put them right there. A little extra flour on top, cover up those wet spots. Okay, I wash my hands. This goes into the fridge for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're starting our country gravy. Our white country gravy begins with a roux and we understand what a roux is. A roux is fat and flour, and it thickens the liquid that goes in. In our case, it's gonna be milk. But I could put oil here, I could put butter here, I could put bacon grease here, but I'm using beef tallow because I have it. So three tablespoons of beef tallow, it's gonna start to melt. Come on, beef tallow, come on. And when it does, we follow up with the same amount of all-purpose flour, like this. And this is a whisk operation, so start whisking. The beef tallow smell that's coming up from being in here mixed with the flour is really special. And after about a minute, when all of the flour has been absorbed into the tallow, we can now add two cups of milk. And that will look like this. It seizes up right away. Little by little, I like to add it. That way you can make sure you're declumping as you go. Dump it all in at once, you might not notice a lump underneath. Nobody wants lumpy gravy. Little simmer, try and get along the sides. And this is a curved pot, you can see that. It's ideal for this kind of thing. A pot with square edges, those hard corners, you can't get the whisk in there all that nicely. This is gonna start to simmer a little bit and it will start to thicken too. So we'll season it once we get to that point. All right, see what we got here? It's definitely thickened up, it's bubbling away. You wanna make sure you're continuing to stir it with your whisk because if you don't, you risk burning it on the bottom and that would give you a flavor nobody wants. I'm gonna turn it down a bit and now we'll season it. So first, a little salt, but lots of black pepper. Recipes below. Black pepper in this kind of gravy is really ideal. Little garlic powder, little onion powder, and whisk some more. Oh, I love the flex. So I'm gonna let it bubble a bit because I want it just a little bit thicker. We'll give it about uh, two minutes and then we'll try it. Look at this, thickened way up. It's looking insane. But ain't looks we're looking for. It's taste, kill the heat. That's perfect thickness, perfect thickness. For me, time for a little taste. Steamy. I'm so torn. Now I want proper chicken fried steak that I remember having in Phoenix, Arizona for the first time in my life. Never had it in Canada. 
I don't think anybody up there even knows what it is, or certainly not then. I'm sitting in a Denny's-like restaurant at the counter. Kelly's out of town. The server gives me the menu. I'm looking at it, and I'm just by myself. I'm kind of looking around, and I see about four people that way. A guy's got something cool in front of him. I go, excuse me, what's he eating? She goes, it's chicken fried steak. I go, I want it. I don't know what it is, but I want it. And it came, and I was so happy. Not chicken at all. Steak that's cooked like fried chicken. It's genius. Mashed potatoes. The gravy. Oh, my God. God, there might have even been sausage in that one. I have no idea. This, this burger, what the hell? This is ready? The patty's ready? Let's start a frying. All right, before we fry, let's make a little sauce for the bottom. A little mayo, and instead of ketchup, I'm using chili sauce, the, the Western kind, because it's way more interesting. A little shot of mustard, a little hit of sriracha, teeny bit of salt and pepper, and this we can mix. By the way, I'm all in favor of replacing your ketchup needs with this chili sauce. It's just that much more interesting. And that's gonna be insane. With the little pieces of the chili sauce business in there. All right, now we fry. Our oil is at 350 and ready to go, and in we go. Shallow frying. Little pan, we're gonna go about two and a half minutes aside. Get it gorgeous. So excited for this. Boys, where do you get your bites? Nothing to do but be patient. So we have a little peek. Oh God. Makes me very happy. 30 more seconds, then we flip. All right, let's flip the kid over. We want to do this gently. We don't want to splash oil. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready for this. All right, this is ready. Let it drip a bit, but that's what these little racks are for. And while it's still warm, oh boy, piece of cheese. Let's talk about making this luxurious. All right, we're ready to build. And we're there. Ooh, boy, look at that. Remember what's happening here? Of course you do. A little of this chunky sauce. Fantastic. Next, this should be obvious, our little patty. Hi, patty. Hi, Sam. Two more things, a little of our gravy. This white country gravy. Something Paula Dean would have made. And nobody said this next part was necessary, but these little French fried onions, I don't care when it is or who you are, these guys are always effing welcome. And we're there. Oh, there's one last thing to do. You ready, boys? Ready. Let's make this official. We're gonna brand it. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam the Cooking Guy original chicken fried steak burger. Crispy onions and white country gravy. Take your pictures. I am so excited. You have no idea. Look how beautiful this is. All right, let's get to eating. What a handsome burger this is. I, I mean, I said at the beginning, I knew how it was gonna be, just the patty itself, but now with the cheese, now with the sauce, now with the crispy onions, now with the white country gravy, holy, holy. Chicken fried burger. Holy chicken fried burger, Batman. I'm having another bite. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us yet, please hit the subscribe button. It means a lot. It really does help us. But also as a subscriber, you could win one of those knives because we're giving one away every video this year. A Sam the Cooking Guy knife could be yours. For doing what? For hitting subscribe and it's free. And then just watching for your name on the screen like this. That person will reach out to us at info at thecookingguy.com and we'll hook you up with a knife. Meanwhile, back at the holy shit.